Hey, uh, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is going to be my first video and today I'm going to show you how to transfer data from your PC or laptop across to your JTAG. So first of all what you want to do is connect an Ethernet cable into the back of your JTAG and into the side or back of your PC or your laptop. Uh, then you want to come on to XX menu and go across to this tab and at the bottom it will give you your IP address. Uh, so just remember that IP address, write it down or just keep keep yourself on that page and uh, I'll go onto the computer now and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so next what you want to do is plug in your Ethernet cable um, and then give it a minute and this will pop up. Uh, double click this, go to properties, then go to advanced, the advanced tab then check this allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection so check that and then press ok give it a minute and then open up flash fxp it will be an evaluation copy but that doesn't really matter and just press sites site manager sorry my computer is running slow because i'm recording it's usually a lot faster and this will open so go a lot quicker for you. Um, so you press Site Manager, and then the address that you got off XX menu. Uh, type that in there, and then type go on to username Xbox. Uh, type Xbox, and then for the password type Xbox, and then just click click connect. Give it a minute, and it will connect. And you'll see this is just what you have in XX menu. So hard drive one. And this will come up. This is what you have in XX menu. So if you go into games, if I go COD 4, and um, everything comes up. So this is the ISO that I have. So say you have uh, a patch say that you want to put on. Instead of doing it via USB, you can just if you have a patch say sitting at your desktop, just click desktop here, and everything for your desktop will come up here. So just drag it across, and it'll say do you want to override or whatever, and you just click yes, and just give it a second, and that'll go over. Uh, you can also do full ISOs or anything. So if you have the ISO, uh, you go into WX360 obviously, and um, that's another video. But you go onto WX360 and you extract it all out, and you'll get this. And you drag it over onto the, your hard drive, and it'll take about 45 minutes. Or so depending on how fast your computer is, and depending on the size of the ISO, but it'll all go over and it'll work perfectly. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, hope I helped, uh, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and like, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, see you next time. Okay, so next what you want to do is plug in your ethernet cable, um, and then give it a minute and this will pop up, uh, double click this, go to properties, then go to advanced, the advanced tab, then check this, allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So check that and then press OK. Give it a minute and then open up Flash FXP. It'll be an evaluation copy, but that doesn't really matter. And just press sites, site manager. Sorry, my computer is running slow because I'm recording, it's usually a lot faster. And this will open. So go a lot quicker for you. Um, so you press Site Manager, and then the address that you got off XX menu. Uh, type that in there, and then type go on to username Xbox. Uh, type Xbox, and then for the password type Xbox, and then just click click connect. Give it a minute, and it will connect. And you'll see this is just what you have in XX menu. So hard drive one. And this will come up, this is what you have in XX menu. So if you go into games, if I go COD 4, um, everything comes up. So this is the ISO that I have. So say you have uh, a patch say that you want to put on. Instead of doing it via USB, you can just, if you have a patch say sitting at your desktop, just click desktop here. And everything for your desktop will come up here. So just drag it across and it'll say do you want to override or whatever. And you just click yes and just give it a second and that'll go over. Uh, you can also do full ISOs or anything, so if you have the ISO, uh, you go into WX360 obviously, and um, that's another video, but go onto WX360 and you extract it all out, and you'll get this, 
and you drag it over onto your hard drive and it'll take about 45 minutes or so depending on how fast your computer is and depending on the size of the ISO but it'll all go over and it'll work perfectly so uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope I helped uh, thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and like <laughs> and uh, yeah that's pretty much it see you next time